Blood disorders are grouped according to which part of the blood they involve, red cells, white cells, platelets, or plasma. Disorders that affect red blood cells are typically classified as anemias and range from nutrient deficiencies such as a lack of iron or B vitamins, both vital for proper hemoglobin and red cell function. There are also a range of genetic disorders that may cause red cells to be defective when they form or may inhibit sufficient production of red cells. Some diseases, such as malaria, specifically target and destroy red blood cells. The list of disorders affecting white cells is long and includes many different types of cancers of the lymphatic system. These are classified as Hodgkin's and non-Hodgkin's lymphomas. Hodgkin's lymphomas affect white cells in the lymphatic system. Non-Hodgkin's lymphomas affect white cells found in the bloodstream. And leukemia affects immature white cells in the bone marrow. Although platelets are cell fragments rather than cells, they can still be affected by a handful of disorders, most of which are classified as thrombocytopenias, which cause low platelet counts and impair the ability to stop bleeding. Essential thrombocytosis, also known as primary thrombocythemia, is a disorder characterized by the overproduction of platelets in the bone marrow, resulting in excessive clotting, bleeding, or both. Most plasma-related disorders are involved with plasma's role in helping platelets in the clotting process. Hemophilia is one of them. It is a deficiency of certain types of proteins that aid in the clotting process. Sepsis is an illness that is triggered by an infection somewhere in the body that spreads into the blood, affecting the plasma and causing an inflammatory reaction throughout the entire body.